to investigate the effect of lizard predation on spider populations. A student plays spiders in two enclosures, one with lizards and one without, and track the number of spiders in the enclosures for 30 days. The student concluded that the reduction in the spider population count in the enclosure with lizards by day 30 was entirely attributable to the presence of lizards. So already a huge danger phrase there, right? It's almost certainly not true that it's entirely because of lizards. And I think that's reinforced because they say um, we want to weaken the student's conclusion, right? And now we can finally look at our graph. Well, we do see that the one with lizards is declining more substantially than the one without lizards. But if the reduction was entirely because of lizards, why am I still losing spiders in the ones without lizards? Well, that's our answer. That's what we're looking for because that would kind of go against the student's conclusion. So in A, the spider population count was the same on both or in both enclosures on day one. Well, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the reduction after day one. So we care about how it's changing beyond this. So we don't like A here. And B, the spider population count also substantially declined. Look where we end up here. Uh, by day 30 in the enclosure without lizards. That definitely goes against the student because they're saying the reduction is only happening because there's lizards. But there also is a huge reduction in the ones without lizards, which B is highlighting. In C, the largest decline in the spider population count in the enclosure with lizards occurred from day one to day 10. That is true. That is our biggest decline. And this is why our graph answers are not necessarily, um, the correct graph answers are not necessarily correct. It's the context that matters. We're looking to weaken their conclusion that it's only because of lizards. C is irrelevant in this aspect. Same thing with D, the spider population count on day 30 uh, in the enclosure with lizards was lower than the one without lizards. It is also true according to our graph, but we're trying to kind of prove the opposite. We're trying to, we're trying to defend that they are also losing a lot of spiders in the ones without lizards. So C and D, correct according to our graph, but not going along with us weakening the student's conclusion, it's going to be B here.